What up, guys? Friend Sports here. Capital P. Yo, if you haven't noticed, King James is back at it again. LeBron James, man. He's on Instagram, and again, he remembers the haters. Now, I remember Michael Jordan used to do something similar to this. He used to use everything that he could um, think of to use as fuel for um, a game. You know, he remember every little thing that would probably piss him off. He would use it as motivation to go up and, um, you know, destroy his opponents. So I guess LeBron James is taking cue, or maybe he's always been the type of dude to notice these type of things. Because he posted up on his Instagram account. I remember X amount of years ago, people said, I couldn't be successful in the Western Conference because it was too tough. And I always told people this. You gotta stick by your own words. If you claim LeBron James runs the NBA, if you claim LeBron James is a GM, if you claim he does all of this stuff behind the scenes, right? Then what makes you think that he couldn't do the same thing in the Western Conference just because it has better better players? Okay, a super team is a super team. So he would have formed a, a super team in the Western Conference and been in the finals the same way he been in the finals in the um, East. Now, it may not be every year, just for the simple fact, because you got to take into injuries. You don't know if a key player gets injured or not. And, you know, that would change things. But let's assume everybody was healthy. Then whatever team LeBron James would have been on for a majority of his career in the Western Conference, he would have been an all-star in that conference as well. And he would have had several players that will form a super team with him on a Western Conference. So they would have both guard the Western Conference. At the end of the day, basketball is basketball, okay? The NBA is the NBA. If he's the biggest star in the NBA, that means he has say on lock on anything that goes on, right? According to you guys, you know, that's haters logic. I noticed that a lot of you guys don't talk about LeBron James running the West no more because he got the number one record in the West, you know? And you can sit there and say, yes, he got it because he's playing with AD, such and such. AD's one superstar, man. Imagine if he, he did what he did on the Eastern Conference in the West. He would have had two superstars, two all-stars already. They had a big three, and he would have been running stuff in the Western Conference. Easy. You know? You guys forget to mention that. You, for, you forget to mention that if a guy has pull, he has pull. He got the juice, he got the juice. It don't matter what conference he in, you know? But I, you guys don't have that same energy no more. It's completely ignored now. You know, you say he couldn't survive in the Western Conference because it was too much competition, um, competition, you know? And now you're gonna see a firsthand experience. All of these so-called uh, dominant teams on the Western Conference, they're gonna start taking L's and lose to LeBron James as well for the next few years to come because his team is only gonna keep getting better and better in terms of uh, stacking the deck, right? So. Got to keep that same energy, you know? This just goes to show you how some stats are kind of pointless. You know, a lot of guys would sit there and say, you know, Kobe beat several 50-win teams because he played in a tougher conference in the West. That don't mean nothing for LeBron James because he would have did the same thing as well if he was in the same conference. You're already seeing examples of it right now, you know? And put that into perspective more, okay? When we talk about beating or accomplishing things, we're talking about you being an alpha. Kobe wasn't an alpha for all of those, you know, 50 win teams that they beat. Now, a lot of those, a lot of those came at the expense of him being Scottie Pippen on that team. He wasn't even the number one dude on the team. Now, you do count him to play all the 50 win teams that he beat once Shaq left. You get credit for that mainly more because LeBron was the alpha from beginning to end. You know, so that's why I always say LeBron's career is a little more impressive than Kobe's. But you got to still put respect on Kobe's career too. But LeBron's career is a little more dominant and it's a little more impressive, you know, from the individual standpoint and the accomplishments. It's just, it is what it is. I mean, that's just facts. Um, but I notice a lot of people are quiet, you know. You're not talking about how tough the West is no more. Now the new narrative is... Um, oh, the East got better, you know. 
all of that other same type of stuff, you know. So the minute LeBron leaves, the East gets better. Now it's on par with the Western Conference. So the Western Conference isn't that good no more because LeBron James is in it, right? <laughs> you got caught, you know. That's for the haters. You got caught. Keep that same energy. Prince Sports out. Keep it 3,000.